If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that sub button for more amazing content. Now, let's jump straight into the video. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Bofina One, bringing you guys another YouTube video. And many of you who follow me on social media know that my birthday was this past weekend. I'm officially 26, so it's like kind of exciting, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I'm going into the second half of my 20s, getting ready to, getting close to 30, really, if you think about it at this point. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um... And, you know, I hear it a lot, this statement, especially a lot within my friend group, you know, because a lot of us, you know, we're mid going into our later 20s. Some of us are even 30. You know, I have friends that are a couple years older than me. And a lot of them talk a lot about like wanting to move out of their parents' home, you know, wanting to have that sense of freedom, wanting to be like, hey, this is my, whether it's an apartment, condo, home, whatever, to be like, this is my place. You know, I, I can do and say as I please. And, you know, many of us have parents that, you know, ages 50 and up. And of course, you know, in their generation, people were getting, you know, married, should have high school at 18 and, you know, they were starting families, they were moving out, etc. However, a big factor, well, let's be honest, multiple factors that has affected the way in which people are able to leave is, is student loans. That's the first thing. You know, so many people are going to school to further their education. But the thing is, is the cost to get a higher education, to get a, a better paying job has went up drastically from, let's say, when my parents went to school versus now. Like both my parents didn't owe anything. Like my mother owed, I think, $600, but that's because she took um, uh, like a class where it was like a trip to go to Costa Rica. So that was like on her own time. But other than that, she didn't owe anything. My father, same thing. Where me, you know, and a lot of other people, they're owing $100,000 or more of student loan debt between myself and like my, my dad, the parent plus loan. Um, and it's ridiculous, you know? And the thing is, is that if a lot of people and the average salary, you can look it up online is about 40,000 and you're coming out of school and you over a hundred thousand, you can do the math. I mean, you're not making enough money to be able to actually, uh, suffice paying off your loans, let alone moving out on your own. Um, so, you know, it's hard and, it's going to take you forever to, to pay the debt. But I mean, I think what's going on right now with the forbearance is great. I mean, people like myself who, you know, make a higher salary, you know, I went to school for engineering. So I'm able to afford to pay back my loans. But even me, like I'm still living at home and I've been paying on my loans for almost three years now. I mean, I'm getting close to finishing most of mine's, but it's the concept of like, if you're coming out of school and you're barely making $40,000, but you have over a hundred K worth of student loan debt and you're not like in the middle of a pandemic, I guess like we are where loans are in forbearance, meaning there's no interest rate. You're literally like, it's, it's going to be hard for you. It's going to be hard for you to move out. And the other side of it is that the cost of living has went up tremendously and equate to what jobs um, are paying people. You know, let's be honest. Most of the places in the world, if you look online, I mean, unless you're living either like in a rural area or like in the hood or whatever, um, most one bedrooms, even some studios now are about a thousand dollars. You know, it used to be that renting was cheaper, but now renting honestly is almost as expensive, if not the same as a home. I mean, people are literally paying like for a three bedroom apartment, they're paying between a thousand five hundred to two thousand dollars. I mean, yeah, it's cheaper in the sense of like, if something goes out as a tenant, you're not responsible for that. That's the landlord's responsibility, but you get what I'm saying. Like, that's a lot of money thing about to rent somewhere for some place that you may not necessarily want to be at permanently. And I've always been one of those people, I always was never in a rush to grow up. I was never in a rush to be grown and whatnot. But at the end of the day, and I had an apartment when I was down in college, at the end of the day, you know, you are the one that's going to have to pay that rent or that mortgage or whatever the case is. So you have to be able to leave and move out when it's convenient for you. And it's not just rent. You know, that's something two people fail to realize. Like it's rent, it's groceries, it's utilities. Like you got to have detergent for your laundry. You got to have cleaning supplies. You got to have furniture. You, I mean, it's, it's so many other things that go with it than just besides the rent. Me personally, I think nowadays, what's a good thing for some people is if maybe you can get a two bedroom, maybe pay, pay like a thousand, two hundred, get a roommate, maybe pay 600 a person. And maybe it's like a thousand dollars between the two of you, between like your, your half of the rent, food and like utilities, you know, that's more realistic. But I understand not everyone's in that position where they have somebody that they feel like, hey, I actually want a room with. So I get that too. Um, but yeah, I, I, I just think this whole concept of, you know, people feel like they're too old to be living at home, you know, it doesn't make sense. And my dad always said this, you know, it's like to move out to then have to move right back in a couple months later because you jump too quick. 
you're going to feel worse. Like, dang, I had to move back home with my parents. And if you just would have stayed a little longer, got, you know, your finances a little bit better, you would be better off. But, you know, I think that's a thing that society, because in other countries, believe it or not, in other countries, they don't care about like their kids living with them longer. Hell, they live with them until sometimes they get married and, and then they move out. And then sometimes the people be married, living with their parents. Like, it's crazy in the U.S. how there's so much pressure about when somebody should have their own place. But let me know your guys' thoughts about this down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll chat with you later. Peace, Fern Army.